Hey everyone, um, I'm Guwan. I head the client operations and product with Aplus. Uh, we have Darshan along with me, uh, who heads the entire talent operations. Uh, we were yesterday ret retrospecting on what, how we are doing and what we are doing. And we came up with some uh, great feedback learnings that we had collected from our talents. And most of them comes to us asking some questions that how we can move faster in the funnel, how we can get the job faster, how we can clear the assessments, how we can clear the interviews, how, what, these are the some, these are some questions that keeps on coming to us. Uh, we thought, while we were retrospecting, we thought, why don't we make them um, empower with what they can do so that they can be faster in the journey. Uh, so that's why we thought of doing, first, first we thought of doing a, a content and then we thought, forget about content, let's do a video. Uh, that's where we have uh, Darshan with me and we'll be talking a lot about how you guys can create the, uh, sorry, clear the assessments, uh, clear the interviews, what you should do, what you should not do, and you'll have some learnings around it. I'm sure you'll love it and let's do that. So Darshan, a, a very quick question first, I'd love to introduce and we'll take from there. So thank you for having me, Bhuvan. So if you all know, Darshan this side, and I take care of the entire talent operations at Aplus, uh, right? In the first conversation that Bhuvan mentioned, which is more towards how a talent can, you know, be in a right funnel with the client, right? So for every talent to understand that what exactly the need is all about, right? Why you are a part of this entire funnel, entire journey, right? It starts from the assessment. It starts from, it, it goes to the, you know, interview, then, you know, the client interaction and the client interview. So for every single talent to understand, right? To know your strength, to know your skills, right? That let's say if you are a full stack developer, you know your primary skills, right? And those assessments are already there in the system. You go and appear for the assessment, you, you review the assessment, what the assessment is all about, right? And learn from that process. And then you once go into the assessment, do your best, give the results, right? Equally important what you learn from the assessment, the problem statement, right? Because that helps a lot for any talent to, you know, be confident while, you know, we go and shortlist them for the client, right? Yeah, so I think I think you brought a very nice point out there. Um, when I when I reviewed some of the talents um, history and uh, resumes and um, how, what kind of assessment they are choosing, I saw a couple of different roles and different skills that they have selected for. Uh, I'm not sure why why would someone do that. So if I'm a product manager, I should select the skills which are required for a product management. If I'm a Python developer, I should select the skills which are require, required for a Python developer. I've seen a, a, a very big mismatch out there. What happens is that that mismatch leads to a start of your journey in a very wrong direction, right? Um, so I think, why do you see uh, people would have been um, selecting the wrong wrong skills or uh, doing something wrong which they are not supposed to do? So usually that you know goes to talent to talent. Just the the talent who understands the model, right? Uh, what Uplers is trying to do for them, right? As we are creating opportunities uh, specifically for the Indian skill talent into the tech and digital front, right? And meeting them into the global clients, you know, the good global clients who are, you know, well renowned in the industry. So they need to understand the, you know, the mission that Uplers is carrying, right? So as soon as they bring the right information, right just not on the sake of filling the form or just to get registered but you know give their 100 percent right information that helps them to you know connect a one step closure to the right client right whenever there is a right opportunity available for them while bringing the you know wrong information or you know the not a right information i would say it creates a gap between a talent and that right opportunity so right it's it starts from the mindset that connect with Uplers mission, which is, you know, creating those opportunities and give the right information because that right information helps them, you know, to get deployed to the right global clients. So I think that's where, you know, taking those initiatives by giving the right information rather than just filling the form and, you know, just considering as a part of a, one of those, you know, companies where, you know, in future, if I get opportunity, I'll get. It's okay because I have something there with me right now. So this also brings me that why. Um, when we started this model, it was very important for us to understand that if any talent join us, 
they don't need to go anywhere else to find a job that was the why and it is very clear that if you are getting this information from you guys it is for us to do a right match make plus there is a huge team sitting at the back end who is working on making sure what assessment yes. could go to you what assessment will fit for this particular opportunity there is a data science team there is an entire um, operations team who is taking care of debriefing of every opportunities that we are getting we are saying no to the clients if that that opportunity doesn't sounds lucrative for any of our talents so the idea is that when we when we debrief the entire opportunities we try to set up an assessment that gives you an edge on that particular application and trust me every client coming to us is also looking for for the talents outside india Absolutely. they are also looking for the talents somewhere else from some other vendors so it's a it's a huge competition out there that's where this assessment are created for you to give you an edge yes. if you clear this assessment it makes you available faster to them closer to them and much reliable to them absolutely now, la, la, now let me bring that question the very favorite question that all of you have um how they can crack this assessment so to crack the assessment or the interview right it's important to understand the problem statement and you know bang on your skills and strength if you are a node js developer you know the fundamentals very well because you are an experienced person right it's critical and you know visible to understand that problem statement what is expected from you out of that statement and what is the end result so not necessary every time the end result is the outcome what is your approach towards the problem statement because majority of the clients even look at those angles as well right that how you approach do you have the questions around those assessments do you have you know the idea what is something that is expected from you from this assessment so look at the holistic view rather than just an assessment understand the briefing equally important if you are not clear ask because you have been assign a point of contact from uplers right get connected to that person that okay i want to understand what is something in it right this helps you to you know go a step ahead then the others who is not following this process yeah. right so a very good tip for you all of you i think review the gd or the opportunity that yes. detail in the detail that you have review thoroughly and then you think the assessment is actually related to that right mm. then think what what this assessment is all about so you, you also have a provision to before starting the assessment you also have a provision to go through that assessment what that assessment is all about practice the assessment first there is also a provision of practice test you guys can take practice that assessment and then go, go for that assessment uh we also give a, a retest option for all of you but i think that again degrades your chances of going further funnel in the faster way but i would suggest that uh, read about jd read about the test that you are giving I, i think these are the great two tips that has helped many people to cross their assessment much faster and in case if you have questions ask questions at that point of time people will be there to help you out faster sooner and with a reliable answers they may not be able to help you in a in a very technical way of what you should, you are supposed to do yes. but they would have obviously help you out what best way you can solve this uh, technical coding challenge for right awesome and uh, what about interview how how do they can how can they crack interview so with a you know learning that over the period of time that you know i have personally observed all the you know client interaction with the talents and where usually the talent can improve right uh the very fundamental questions usually the client ask is all about the technology for an example if you are a, again i'll take a same example of a node js the client is not expecting you to be a pro from the beginning the client always look at the fundamental how fundamentally you are correct mm -hmm. right that is number one point number two a type of projects that you have worked on a specific tech stack because that is what the client is looking for true right number three a type of role that you have played in that project will you be able to explain it better right at times many of the talents come with the you know large scale of project i have worked with but they are a part of a team and they don't recall what part they have played in it many a times the type of client that we have they are looking for a ic independent contributor right yeah. and usually talent comes and they have played a managerial role right yeah and that's where the disconnect comes because okay. client is expecting you to execute no, alongside with your strategic skills true absolutely right 
so these are the few fundamental you know tips i would suggest yeah, a talent should have it and very visible and clear thoughts yep. right certainly so i think all the assessments are focused towards fundamental testing right some of them have algorithmic testing some of them are focused on your core problem solving in that particular coding language some of them are particular specific towards that coding for example implementing something into java everybody should be focusing on the fundamentals of the coding uh, languages that you are appearing for plus i think in the interview you have a very good point that doesn't brought in that um focus on your projects what you have to work be honest at least i think yes. obviously you cannot do everything in a project so we define your role very well what where you have played a value what you have done in that particular project define those in your interviews because that makes you clear the interview very nicely especially the the international clients when they come in yes they they don't take interview like indians do so they don't ask uh how we can do this in java they usually ask what you have done in the past projects what you have done done in the past companies so think about those and and create a better answer out of it i'm sure you guys would have done an amazing uh projects you have delivered a great value to the customers bring that into your conversation in the interviews that has helped a lot of people to crank the interviews so i think if you need some more learnings of how you can present those i think we as a team would be would love to connect with each of you and try to guide you of how you guys can uh showcase those projects those those values that you have given in your resumes or even in your speech that you take for so i think a very good suggestion this so i think um, bringing those conversation of value that they have added is important rather than i have worked for this project that that does not make sense because many people are there out there so bring out what you have done into that what value you have added there and I'm, i'm sure you will crack the interviews for sure and and just to add on one part right so client is hiring the talent from india right not necessarily not necessary the client has a previous experience of hiring the same right and maybe hiring first time so he also wants to experience this right working remote that to be from a different country you know aligning the values aligning the culture so these are the few areas right where a client is also judge a talent right so for an example uh, there are few clients that we have seen that you know technically you are 80 20 it's okay but if you are not aligning to my values if you are not aligning to my company's culture right i cannot go ahead because you know those things cannot be teach it's more towards a bringing how you look at those things right so for any talent alongside your technical skills when a client hire an experienced person client also look at those you know the functional behavior values culture side of things so learn about the client look at those client their website their you know their linkedin page right what are the recent activities they have done uh, what are the co curricular activities they have done with their own employees right uh, considering you are a part of their team rather than consider yourself as a you know just working as a freelancer on a contractual opportunity the clients are considering you uh, more a part of a team because that's where you know they are coming to uplers looking for those skill indian talents and they want to you know build that repo relationship for a long term yeah so that you can add a value to their business to yeah i think many clients have also come come to us and say that um we don't feel him as a part of our team yes. because he's not involved much so i think a very good point that dasan brought in i mean, read about the client read about the company i'm sure you'll get a lot of information from linkedin from their company page from even the social uh, platforms that what that person is all about what he likes what he doesn't does not like plus uh, what this company's values are i think this is really important to think about it being proactive in all those things would help you align them in much better way um you will be able to deliver a very good interview in front of a client it's not all, always about interview it's all, also about identifying what kind of team i am good at working with uh if you settle down at a very wrong team working with i'm sure you fail the team will fail everybody will fail but if you align with the right team what values you have what values that company have if you align that part it becomes very nice so be be proactive try to learn all those things before you go on an interview prepare yourself for an interview don't think that i am i am i'm a super power in interview i can crack all the interviews don't think that way and instead prepare yourself for an interview think about what i should answer if this question comes in what what should i be prepared for which project i should be bringing again and again interview best practices 
the very key you should be driving the interview then an interviewer driving the interview yes if you will bring the points that you are very sure about in all your answers the interview would be driven on those points which you are so sure about so you drive the interview rather than letting the interviewer drive the interview this cracks the interview very well awesome i think um, a very a very funny question or you a question i would love to add um many talent feels that they are not getting an opportunity right and um, uh, they feel that they are not able to crack the interviews they are not able to get the opportunity out there some of them even says that okay uh, you guys are doing um, a false claim out there that you have an opportunity but then you don't show the opportunity i love to bring some of the amazing talent experience that we already have given to amazing clients Absolutely. and some of the on site opportunities as well uh you love to talk about those Absolutely. what kind of value we are adding to them so uh we understand right that we are not reaching to everyone right and we have to be candid if we are not reaching out we are not reaching out and we are trying we are improvising at every stage right what helps that if the opportunity is there there is a queue of talents everyone wants to reach right the one who understands the client requirement better faster and reliable look at the jd type of primary skills where you are fitting into that right equally important uh whether you are a right fit you know it from inside right nobody requires to tell you that you are a right fit or not you know it from the day one so right you are a better judge yeah you are you are a better judge of yourself and equally important when you appear for the assessment look at that okay i want to crack it i want to give my 100% we understand you are working with some other organizations we also understand right uh, whether you will get the opportunity or not get the opportunity you are skeptical about that maybe you have seen some social media reviews and you know you have your perceptions but on the other side we have a good number of talents for them we have given an amazing opportunities and they are working with a renowned brands organization from past two years and their to that tenure their engagement is going you know flawless true right and on top of that we are creating more opportunities for the ones are still you know looking for a good opportunities from uplers and the ones are deployed their experience is amazing right every time we have a talent success coach in place they reach out to those talent every month to connect to understand not only from the technical point of view but also from the client culture client alignment the behavior how you look at the client right because at times not all the clients are right at times there are talents who look at things and they are not comfortable with the client so it's uplers responsibility to you know bridge that in a yeah. better way yeah so helps a talent as well as the client to be on a one page yeah true right so we are there with that support as well alongside we have the account managers who are you know in a direct communication with the client to learn more about the opportunities uh, how we can make things better and right yeah so and on top of that recently you know we started receiving the on site opportunities which is amazing for our talents because we are trying to crack that from long and i think now it's a time we crack so i think this is also helping and a motivation factor for talents who wants to work overseas you know the mm-hmm. overseas client in their office Absolutely. at least to go and learn from there how their entire business ecosystem works yeah so i think those opportunities are also we are you know slowly and gradually unlocking yeah so stay tuned i would say we are trying we are building that ecosystem for everyone uh you will have to be there when the opportunity is right if you are not there someone else will pick because he has already done his part absolutely i think uh in they someone going overseas and working there will also bridge the cross cultural gaps that we may have um i think we are excited about this on site opportunity yeah. for sure uh, people have been even hired by the end client after 2 years of work that they have done with the client staying on a contract so i think contract perception is also i think sometimes that people feel that i don't want to work for yeah. but if you are confident i'm sure your work would deliver the outcome it doesn't matter that you are on contract or you are hired for a for a company on a payroll any company can give one month notice tomorrow even i am hired on a payroll right 
So I think this contractual opportunities is is there in front of you. You just have to pick the right one. We'll help you pick the right one. We are doing the, that job for you. You pick the right one and you work there. I'm sure you'll get a payroll opportunity from a client if you're working amazingly well. Many of them of our talent have got that. Yes. And I think um, a very, very well said point that I know we are not able to deliver to each and every one today, but our aim is to deliver to yes. each and every one who fits right for every opportunities out there. There will be a time that comes that you'll be able to get a right opportunity. You just need a right patience and a, a, a bit of bit of hard work, retreating your learning principles and all those things. I'm sure you'll get the right opportunity with our with our platform. And we don't resist you to stick to us. When you are with us, you'll keep on learning with our community. We are building a community that they are going to inject a lot of learning stuff for you, you guys. So you can you can stay in touch with us, keep on learning, apply somewhere else if you feel so. Use this learning for your career growth. At the end, we want to empower you with an opportunities either through Uplers or somewhere else. We want you to get the right job. That's what our role is. This entire system that we are building, it's for people of India, right? The right talent that we have. And we are just helping them, right? Creating these amazing opportunities. So we would love the right talents available in Bangalore, either in the, you know, semi-metro cities, right? In Indore, in Bhopal, in uh, probably in Rai Mareli, or in even I say in Rishikesh that we are right now in and shooting this video. So this is for everyone. It's a remote opportunity, right? So come join us, work with us, and we help you giving those right opportunities from a global clients right so we would love to be a part of our community we would love to be a part of our you know the uplers ecosystem and let us help you out let us you know see where you can be the right fit and you yourself can choose by your own all the opportunities are transparent available on the portal you can you know just go and clear the assessment and be a part of those opportunities in the client so thank you so much Boon, yeah. for having me here and i would love to uh, you know, be a part of this communication and conversation in future as well. Thank you. Absolutely. And thank you, Darshan. And thank you, Talents. I think be a part of our platform. I'm sure you'll have a lot of empowerment. Jobs is just one area of yes. it. You'll get a lot of learning with us. We are building those uh, fundamentals out there. You'll, you'll, you'll be a mess remote person. No company can deny that if you'll, if you'll go through what we are trying to build, you will be an amazing remote person. So come join us. I think you will have fun together. We all want to create an opportunities for each other. We'll have fun together. Come and join us. Thank you. Thank you.